Hey everybody, it's Jenny. And today I wanted to talk to you about celebrity makeup brands. The makeup industry has become extremely saturated lately with new makeup brands. And some of those makeup brands are celebrity makeup brands. Now a lot of celebrities get hate for creating these brands, but I kind of wanted to focus on the positive aspects of a few of the celebrity brands that have come out lately. So the first brand that I want to mention is Fenty Beauty. How could I not have Rihanna first? So Rihanna created Fenty Beauty and when she did, she focused on diversity. And I love this. As a girl that's relatively pale, I have always had a difficult time finding foundation. And then our darker sisters have also had a extremely difficult time finding foundation. I've had friends that tried to go and find foundations and get color matched and they weren't able to get any sort of foundation that would really fit for their skin tone. That doesn't mean that they didn't exist, it just means that the options were so limited before Rihanna came out and then changed the entire game. And I am so, so happy that Rihanna created Fenty Beauty. The next brand I want to mention is Kylie Cosmetics. There's been some pros and cons with Kylie. A lot of times people will criticize her makeup for being copies of other brands, or they will mention that the quality is subpar. The quality aspect is improving. I've noticed that palettes are getting better and better and the blushes, eyeshadows, all of that is getting better. Let's focus on the positive here. Before Kylie Cosmetics, there were still liquid lipsticks and liquid lipsticks were growing in popularity. The minute that Kylie came on the scene with her liquid lipstick collection, liquid lipsticks blew up. Everything sold out on her website the minute that everything launched. Everyone uses liquid lipsticks today. Flower Beauty is another one of those brands that I think deserves recognition. I am a little bit biased. I will admit, I do love Drew Barrymore, but I am so happy to see a drugstore brand that is also focused on quality. Now, I haven't personally used her products, I have to admit that, but I've seen other people use them, I've read reviews, the products seem to be pretty high quality considering that it's a slightly higher priced drugstore line. And so I have to applaud Drew Barrymore for not increasing the prices of her products just because of her celebrity name attached to the brand. Seeing as I already did a review, of course I'm gonna mention Filthy Fangs. <laughs> and as you guys probably already know, I do love Bella Thorne. She was getting a lot of hate for creating her makeup line, but again, I wanna focus on the positive. Bella Thorne is one of those celebrities who does her own makeup. And you heard me right, she does her own makeup, not just for the red carpet or for Instagram photos. She actually does her own makeup on movie sets as well. So it makes sense for her to create her own brand. Bella Thorne is very open about her skin issues. She's very open about acne and having acne. Her Instagram has photos where she has acne. As someone who also suffers from acne, it's nice to see somebody that I can relate to that's created their own makeup line. And I'm hoping that she'll expand on this makeup line and maybe create something for those of us who also suffer from acne like she does. Lastly, I want to mention Wander Beauty. Lindsay Ellingston created this line with the focus of multi-purpose products. I mean, how many of us have gone and packed our makeup bags and realized that our makeup bags were not big enough to hold all of the products that we wanted to apply on our faces? I think this is smart and clever and something that the makeup industry really needed. Now she's focusing on expanding that line and some of the products are not as multi-purpose as they once were. Lindsay Ellingston was a Victoria's Secret angel. She has made quite an impact on the industry and now she's being sold at Sephora. She could have used her influence to create just a generic makeup line, but instead she used it for good. These were just a few of the makeup brands that are out there. 
I know that there were a few makeup brands that I actually personally enjoyed, such as Circa Beauty. This was Eva Mendez makeup line, and it provided luxury feel makeup products at drugstore prices. Despite all the hate that celebrities get for creating these makeup brands, hopefully this video was able to shed some light on the good that celebrities do when they're creating these makeup brands and bring a little bit more positivity to the makeup community. Until next time, bye.